Appleton Coated's Mill in Combined Locks near Appleton, Wisconsin, has been making paper since 1889. The mill produces over 1,000 tons of finished and semi-finished paper per day from its five paper machines. The paper maker's products are used in making insurance and credit card forms, text pages for school workbooks and best-selling novels, and slick-coated paper for annual reports and advertising brochures. As the company entered new markets with higher-end product lines, Appleton Coated wanted to rebuild one of its machines to produce additional coated-free sheet paper. They wanted to implement the latest automation technology without ripping out the existing automation system. We looked at our, one of our existing suppliers who is installed on just about every other paper machine that we operate in the mill, but they weren't going to be able to supply our needs in a, in a timely fashion and in a cost-effective fashion. So we decided after a long relationship with our, our primary vendor to open that box and look outside and open the process up for uh, competitive bids. We had opportunity to visit the uh, Foundation Field Bus offices in Austin, Texas and chat with their technical folks about the state of Field Bus, about the technologies involved, about the process of certification and came away from that meeting, uh, that morning meeting with those folks, uh, confident that Field Bus was mature enough, uh, reliable enough, uh, widespread enough, and vendor independent enough to be able to uh, support a project of not only of this scope, but of any scope that we would have uh, been choosing. Appleton Coded liked the foundation Field Bus technology's openness and interoperability, and they wanted to use it on a flexible, scalable system. They found it in the plant web architecture and the Delta V system from Fisher Rosemount. We were able to tell from our, our first technology review on site here that they had superior technology um, to anyone else we talked to. The thing that really, really drove us there was the site visit um, to, to the Austin facility and seeing the way the organization operates. We ordered this system 90 days before delivery was needed and working with our classic suppliers we would be looking at a six to eight month lead time on being able to purchase that. From the moment it arrived in Appleton the new system began delivering results. Through the, some of the calculations we did to justify field bus I think we came up with a savings about 20 percent over um, that's installed cost um, savings over point-to-point -point wiring. The startup definitely went faster than I expected. My senior engineers were able to pick up Delta V very, very quickly uh, and become functional with it so that they could provide the off-shift support that's necessary on a startup. Um, that allowed us to further control our costs by not having to bring outside engineering help or consultants in to, uh, to fill those voids in our staff. We use the loop tuner um, as, as part of the system startup. Um, works very, very well. Um, very, very tightly integrated to the Delta V product, so there's not a lot of configuration time into getting the loop tuner to work. There's additional features for the, uh, the AMS inside and uh, Delta V inspect product that will let us, uh, over the long term, minimize the engineering and maintenance efforts necessary to keep the system current and supporting the operation. The speed in which you can make a change to a, a control strategy, it's much faster with Delta V than it is with other systems that we've used. And that definitely allows us to be more flexible to the needs of operations. And the Delta V system's Windows-like operator interface added cost and time savings to operator training. My actual training to enable me to support this project in my role uh, was only a few hours of informal instruction by one of my coworkers, uh, and after that, uh, two or three hours, I was the night crew. I would say it's easily a third of what it would take to totally go through a training sequence on on another system that we're we're familiar with. For operator training, we used the Delta V Simulate product and developed a mock-up of all the screens and uh, used the Simulate. The, the ability of the Simulate product to actually run a, a control loop internal to the PC and um, design that in such a way that they would get some real feedback. With the new system's monitoring and diagnostics tools, Appleton saved on maintenance. 
the troubleshooting with Delta V is definitely much, much easier on other systems that we have um, based on the fact that if, if you see an alarm, um, you can get, it, get the system to a state where if you see an alarm for integrity, you know that you've got a problem and it points you very quickly to what you need to look at to, to solve that problem. I think repairs on field bus is uh, uh, quicker. You know, time is money. You know, I mean, if you're, if you're troubleshooting, you know, the faster you find something a lot of times, especially if it's in the middle of the night and they're throwing out paper, you know, the faster you can diagnose something sometimes, you know, the better. The new system integrated seamlessly with the existing automation system, delivering improved performance while preserving the company's previous investment. One of the, the key features of the Delta V system was the suite of integration products to allow customers to preserve their investment in the existing installed base of a competitive DCS. The system allowed us to preserve a small installation of a competitive vendor's equipment installed a few years ago to provide coating delivery to the paper machine. Without having to, to throw it away, we were able to cleanly integrate to it, provide HMI services, the engineering tools to perform that were outstanding and allowed my staff to basically get the work done and move on. There was an existing installation of a different D DCS on this particular machine that we used a Fisher Rosemont product to integrate to that system. And the integration of that, of that system was very, very seamless where an operator can't tell whether he's controlling a Delta V controller or the, the um, existing system controller and very, very seamless and easy to set up and intuitive to a user of that system. There was no downtime or, or process interruption uh, while we connected the, um, the integration product to, to connect to our existing DCS system. Appleton Coded also needed to integrate the mill's existing PLCs. We decided to use an OPC interface. Uh, we've had uh, a long history with our existing PLC vendor using his, uh, his communications uh, stacks, his uh, API package that comes along uh, as part of his tools and uh, that particular package offered an OPC interface. Uh, the OPC interface has gone in uh, cleanly, has been reliable, uh, is fast, for, uh, well, fast enough to support supervisory control, uh, so operator initiated motor starts and stops. The new system's embedded historian made a key contribution to Appleton Coded's plant-wide information system. Delta V, in fact, uses a, a built-in PI historian with Fisher Rosemount provided uh, trending and management packages. Uh, integrating the system to our existing PI system is very straightforward using the PI to PI interface that's included with the product. Uh, it came up and ran without issue and was started up by our existing Pi Systems Manager that uh, works with the equipment every day. Using Delta V as the uh, tool to interface with the uh, Pi System has helped us maintain better records. Uh, we, uh, we have Pi graphs printed out every day for our review. New system, new technology, low cost, and preservation of past investment. It all added up to a successful transition for Appleton Coded. Delta V scalability allowed us to purchase all of the distributed controls equipment we needed for this project, stay within a very limited budget on the project, uh, and accomplish all the automation goals that we set forth for this project. I must believe that this is one of the easier installations that we've had. Um, the, uh, the tool set is definitely the, the best that I've used. Uh, it, it is the most current as we found there was financial savings, cost savings at every turn. The procurement uh, of Delta V was less expensive than the near next nearest competitor by a rather wide margin. The engineering services required to install a Delta V system were uh, very straightforward to assess and in fact we did the bulk of the engineering in-house on the system. With minimal training I was able to take one of my junior staff members, send him to Austin for approximately eight days of training and have him come home and build a medium-sized Delta V system with very limited support from outside resources. Uh, the promise said it was very uh, user-friendly from an engineer standpoint, uh, easy to use. It had current technology that uh, some of our other potential suppliers lacked. 
the key element, I think, was the, uh, the integration of field bus for uh, field installation. Uh, this, uh, this went on the ledger side of the decision that it was a very cost-effective way of, of installation and uh, cut the cost in the project significantly. The Delta V system going through the paper machine startup after everything was, uh, was built and checked and commissioned uh, was certainly an asset. Uh, it was an asset in the fact that it presented no liabilities. The technology came up and performed as expected. The interfaces, uh, which there was OPC interfacing and the competitive DCS interfaces, performed flawlessly. The success of this installation laid the groundwork for future investments at Appleton Coated. If we have any major uh, capital investments in the future that require uh, investment in an instrumentation system, I would definitely look at Delta V first before I look at any other system. Look into the future, any place where it is reasonable, as we do have a, a large installed base of competitive equipment. Uh, where we can use Delta V, we will use Delta V. Where we can use field bus, we will be looking to use field bus. We believe so strongly in the, the plant web technology and the foundation field bus implementation. We see tremendous installed cost savings. We see future cost savings and maintenance and reliability uh, that we're going to leverage that technology at every turn possible. Mm -hmm.